Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I thought it would be fun to show you how to transform a regular photo into your own close encounter of the first kind. This document is 1920 by 1080 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. The first step is to remove all the color from the photo. To do this, press Control Shift U or Command Shift U on a Mac. Then we'll use auto levels by pressing Control or Command Shift plus L. We'll make the photo gradually darker as it gets closer to the edges. I find the easiest and most effective way to do this is to use the lens correction filter. Click on the custom tab and slide the vignette amount all the way to the left and the midpoint to the left. I'd like to angle the photo. It'll give it a look like we grabbed the camera quickly and had no time to frame it. Press Ctrl or Command plus T to call up your transform tool. Go to a corner and drag it clockwise. To see the entire transform on your screen, press Ctrl or Command plus zero. To fill in the empty areas of your image, you could use the Content Aware filter, but for now, let's just use the transform tool to enlarge the photo. Go to a corner and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag out. When you've covered all the empty areas, press Enter or Return. There are many photos of UFOs on the Internet that you could use for your finished image. For your convenience, I provided the link to this photo in the video's description so you can download it directly. To get it into your background, click anywhere on the image and drag it up onto the tab of your background. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto your background, then release. Call up your transform tool and drag it to an area where you'd like it to be. Reduce it to a size you'd like and reposition it, then press enter or return. Next, remove all the color. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur it by 3 pixels. Let's give our UFO some more motion. Go to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. We'll choose an angle that matches the angle of the UFO and for this image the distance of the blur will be 30 pixels. Make a copy of the UFO layer and make the original layer active. Go back to Filter, Blur and Motion Blur. This time we'll make the distance 86 pixels. Next we'll remove this extra motion blur from the front of our UFO so it looks like it's leaving a motion trail behind it. Click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the extra blurred layer. Call up your brush tool and I'm choosing a 45 point brush at 100% opacity. Now brush over the front half of the UFO. When you're done click on the top layer to make it active and press Control shift alt e or command shift option e on a Mac to make a composite snapshot of our entire image. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Texture folder and choose Grain. We'll make the Intensity 35, Contrast 50, and the Grain Type Clumped. I'd like to add a lens flare to the UFO to enhance the effect of the bright reflective spot on it. Go to Filter, Render, and Lens Flare. I'll make the lens type 50 to 300 millimeter zoom. Drag the lens flare right over the bright spot on the UFO. For this image, I'll make the brightness 123%. Remove all the color and bring down the opacity to 60%. Go back to Filter and Filter Gallery. We'll keep grain and its parameters the same. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.